this part, I want to talk about what I think is important to talk about uh, when it comes to this guitar. If you want to see more about specs, there will be some links down below. Check those out. First thing that I like, locking tuners. Yes, I've grown to like locking tuners. I've been a stubborn conservative man when it comes to tuners. I would probably not put them on a more vintage spec guitar, of course, but on a guitar like this. Yes, please. I like them. Rounded rolled fingerboard edges also yes please especially at the price of this guitar. I will talk a bit more about the price later but yeah that's a really nice feature. Also noiseless pickups you know I'm not too fussy about noise in a guitar but sometimes single coils can definitely be a bit too noisy so that's a feature that I like. I've also grown to like that from having my American ultra strat so yeah noiseless pickups i also really like the modern c shape on this guitar again very similar to my american ultra strat and why do i keep comparing it to the american ultra well that's because this is basically the made in mexico version of the american ultra on the day of filming this which is one day before the release i'm not too sure about the price but it looks like it will end on around a thousand dollars basically half the price of the American Ultra. Does it feel like half the price of that? Definitely not. If someone handed me this guitar without telling me it was made in Mexico I would guess that it was made in the US. It's that good. For me it seems like Mexican made guitars from Fender are getting closer to those made in the US. Which I also guess is part of the reason to why some Mexican made guitars are getting more expensive. I've seen some people complain about that. Even though I think it feels and sounds amazing is it as good as the American Ultra? Nope, it's not, uh, but I think that is fair. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what that is, but the American Ultra just feels a tiny bit better. But again, that's fair, it's twice the price, so yeah. And I forgot to say you have this push-pull function where you engage the neck pickup on position one and too, which is a nice feature especially if you think that the bridge pickup can be a bit too bright on a strat and a crazy idea I would maybe like to see that in a push push configuration because it's a bit difficult to grab that uh, tone knob and pull it out I would guess especially if you are on a stage and your hands are sweaty so yeah but definitely a cool feature and of course we need to address the elephant in the room the finish. Do you think I wouldn't talk about uh, the finish? I will talk about the finish. It's called Tequila Sunrise and it looks exactly like that drink. It's very bright and vivid. I honestly, and you will have to believe me on this, I honestly like it. I'm a very traditional conservative guitar player. I've said this before, I like old guitars. This finish is definitely <laughs> something new, but it's so over the top for me that I'm just digging it. Uh, my American Ultra has the plasma red finish. That finish is also pushing it. It's definitely more modern, but this one is just pushing it way more. Imagine this, how cool would this finish be aged? Like a really good relic job with some checking and stuff. That would be really cool. But luckily, if you are not into the tequila sunrise, you have some more traditional options when it comes to the Player Plus series as well. I think YouTube is recommending that you check out this video. Please do so and thank you for watching. Goodbye.